gee, it's too bad these people can't move to China and get a job at one of the auto factories there. These images may look like postcards from the Great Recession, but for Detroit, it's more like the Great Reckoning. After decades of decay, the city is doing something dramatic. I am unveiling a plan to demolish 3,000 dangerous residential structures this year and setting a goal of 10,000 by the end of this term. The goal of Detroit's grand demolition plan? Bulldoze one quarter of the city's neighborhoods. The blue dots are slated for demolition. All right, Kurt, let's take a drive. All right. The plan wasn't pulled out of thin air. Kurt Metzger led a team of land surveyors that measured how much of the city's neighborhoods is vacant. Look at all the boarded up homes right here. Metzger's group found one third of the city's residential areas are empty. That's roughly 45 square miles. This is going to require some of the folks in some of these neighborhoods to move. Exactly. I mean, what, what the what the idea is, and, and nobody's got the final plan, and certainly nobody's done it at this at this uh, magnitude. But it's trying to come up with how do we start to densify the population? Densify by moving residents out of failed neighborhoods that will be demolished and into healthier communities. The city won't have much of a fight on its hands when it comes to leveling this house. It's obviously vacant and there's nobody home. The problem is when there is somebody home and they don't want to go. Bridget Pearson doesn't want to leave, even though she lives right next to a vacant, burned out home. So if the city of Detroit comes over and knocks on your door and says, ma'am, I'm sorry, but we'd like you to move. What do you say? I say no. You say no? I say no. The city that put the world on wheels may have run out of gas. But that ain't the end of the story. Detroit civil rights leader Reverend Horace Sheffield opposes any plan to relocate residents. Unbelievable, man. Even though the house he grew up in is in ruins. Well, I know my grandmother and grandfather probably turning over in their grave. This was the first piece of property that my family ever owned in the United States of America. He says the residents whose homes are targeted for demolition are more than statistics. It's almost like a form of ethnic cleansing. I call it poor cleansing. But there are other voices in Detroit sounding strong support for the demolition plan. Why is it a need, do you think? Uh, because the people are tired of seeing the city, uh, you know, explode. Johnny Bassett started playing music in Detroit a half century ago when Motown was king, long before the city was singing the blues. Uh, you can't go back to what it was. You have to move forward and uh, make it better. Tired of the same old song, the Motor City could use a new tune. Jim Acosta, CNN, Detroit.